How perfect is your judgment? Does it never falter? Does it never err? I know it's never had room for emotion. I don't let feelings cloud my judgment either. How could I? Now, I think it's time to find a place where those feelings belong. Farewell, my lord. I came to say goodbye. Not as a cardinal, but as a friend. What do you say? Just like old times? Well aged. A good bottle. You should know you gave it to me. As a cardinal, I let myself get too caught up in the little things. Don't be too hard on yourself. What could be smaller than the troubles between two people? You're right. All we've ever done is choose between good and evil, as it suits us. That's why there's nothing I want more than to kill him! <laughs> These aren't ruins. God walks among us here. If you think God bothers to meddle in human lives, You'll never find a place for those feelings. Which is why I've folded my wings. I want to fall. He's gone. Rowan, is this really what you wanted? How can I turn him from the same path that I've chosen for myself? Well, isn't this a surprise? What's it been, one, two years? <laughs> what brings you by? You're on business? I'm looking for a boy named Zephyr. It's my understanding you've taken him in. Oh, I don't think he's around, actually. Yeah, I remember him saying something about uh, going on a trip. <laughs> so, what did you need? Uh, be sure to give him the message. I never stopped investigating the incident. There are some loose ends that need tying. That's in the past. Your god passed his judgment on that a long time ago. God. <laughs> I think I may have come around to your way of thinking on that. I haven't come to you as a cardinal in service of his god. I'm here as an ordinary man. Well then, I don't see much reason to let you in. So you judge him worthy of life? Kill me now then while you have the chance. The next time we meet, we'll be enemies. Or maybe we can come to an arrangement. If it's money you want, name your price. I don't judge him.
Zephyr! Do you still have the scriptures, boy? We have much to discuss, you and I. There's a bridge nearby. Meet me there and we'll talk. Just the two of us. Vacheron, I can't find Zephyr! <sighs> so, he went. Well, aren't we going to go help him? He made his bed. Let him lie in it. Are you serious? I'm glad you came, Zephyr. Do you remember me? I was the witness assigned to your execution. My name is Lagerfeld. I was once Cardinal of the Tenth Diocese of Chandelier. I've come to bury the grief of the bereaved and the dead. And if I'm lucky, my own. Mass had finally started, when, from the far end of the hall, a muffled scream rang out. It had begun. Don't. We arrived twenty minutes later, when I saw the carnage that awaited us. It was beyond all imagining. Tell me! What did the girl slumped in the corner of the alcove say before she died? The explosion wreaked such damage, many of the corpses were beyond recognition. How should we mark their graves? The mother of a boy whose body was riddled with bullets said she could forgive you. Tell me, why did you live while they died? Is your life worth more than theirs? It sickens me to even look at you! Your life is a blasphemy! Your very existence shakes the foundation of faith! Only your death will satisfy me! about to learn something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth, Zephyr? You may have been misguided, but you were never alone. she gave you? Did you ever open it to the last page? You should find a picture like this one just inside the back cover. This is my... my sister. There were a lot of orphans in that school. If you hadn't been so stubborn, I could have told you the truth.
Their blood is on your hands! Why? You idiot! You wanted to die, didn't you? <laughs> Wouldn't it be better that way? Uh, I should be dead. You think that can make up for what you did? Not even close! <laughs> <laughs> Even alive. If you hadn't been there, I'd be dead. Isn't that enough? I want. Yeah? I want Leanne to be happy. Fair enough. Then. I can die. I know the Cardinals do not follow me unconditionally. It is because you have placed your trust in me that others lend me their support. I hadn't realized. That's just as well. It's enough that you go on being yourself. I don't know what I'd do without you. Centurion was a trusted ally, a true friend, with a shared vision for our future. Now, he grows more distant with each passing day. Lagerfeld is gone, too. The Cardinals have been scattered on the wind. It will never be as it was in Frida's day again. You're even less pleasant today than you usually are. Even that eccentric maniac Guerrilliano pledged his loyalty to Frida. You loved her, didn't you? I did. Lagerfeld and Turian, that freak Guerrilliano. She, she brought them all into her dream. Her dream of a world of everlasting happiness. I was so close to being utterly alone. I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs>